What I simply tried to do was to invite the reader to step into my shoes or to step into the shoes of one of the other women who is depicted in the book. And to do that, I simply tried to paint a picture of what is it like to live your life day to day in a prison? What is it like to be a prisoner? Prisons and jails are extremely harsh places to be. They are traumatic places to live, and that is very intentional. We build prisons and jails to be traumatic places. Over the last 30 years, we have chosen to incarcerate people, to lock people away in prisons and jails who we never would have put in prison before. It is quite shocking how easy it is to get locked up in this country for a very low-level offense. The criminal justice system has been used as a tool of control over poor communities of color. And that was true for many years because racial inequality was the law of the land and law enforcement was used to enforce that. The law of the land now is that racial equality is how things are supposed to be. In too many ways, the criminal justice system has not caught up and it needs to. Prisoners want and seek productive outlets for their energy, for their time, something that will make that prison sentence not be a total waste of time. And far too few prisons and jails do anything, really, to create those channels for positive energy and productive energy. If the result of the show is that students and young people, and frankly anyone, is thinking critically about these questions which underlie the show. Where do we want to invest our public resources? What kind of institutions make us a better society? You know, I could not be more thrilled. <laughs>